All right, let's get the show on the road. Let's begin. Uh, I want to welcome you to this webinar we are doing on uh, order flow, market profile, and the option suite. We titled it uh, Trading Excellence for the simple reason that uh, what we are going to embark on on the next 90 to about 120 minutes, uh, we'll try to okay, wind it up in the next uh, one and a half hours because we got a lot of material to cover today. And uh, what you're going to be seeing over the next 60 to 90 minutes on your screens may not be your typical chart you always see. When somebody has been presenting to you something on the markets, uh, you may not have witnessed the kind of chart which is there on your screen right now. We're going to be talking a lot okay, about this uh, about this uh, particular chart on your screen today. Uh, I've been joined okay, by my co-panelists today, Uttam and Suyog, and they're going to help me walk you through what all okay you can do okay with these uh, charts which are available in this on your screen so our predominant focus over here is to collect information from the markets now before i go on to that uh, for those of you who do not know me my name is shai and uh, i like to introduce myself as a trader just like you okay i am no different than uh, any of you the only difference being that I started on this journey maybe a few more years before than most of you. So to put it into context, I've been a derivatives trader for about uh, 18 years now, 17, 18 years now. And uh, for the most part, about 13 of them, to be precise, uh, I've been trading on order flow and market profile. And the first five years of my life, guys, uh, they were of my trading life. Uh, they were a washout. So sometimes, okay, I think about this uh, and uh, if I can go back, okay, and I tell myself, okay, that if I ever got an opportunity to go back and meet the trader, uh, Shai, who started off uh, trading derivatives in 2005, 2006, then the first thing, okay, I would do is uh, actually go and slap him because uh, what I was doing was pure stupidity pure stupidity. I did not know anything about markets. I did not even know okay, how to trade. And there I was okay, putting money to risk, hard-earned money, uh, which sh should not have been wasted. Fortunately for me, things okay, started okay, making sense. Uh, you know, everybody has uh, got something called a nirvana moment in their life, a moment of uh, realization, a uh, moment okay, when things okay, start coming uh, into place. For me, okay, it took about four years. But I got to that moment and uh, that enlightenment, which I received uh, somewhere around 2009, 2010, saved my trading life. And uh, I could okay, get to understand markets a lot more deeper. Uh, the charts okay, which you're seeing on screen uh, have helped me become a better trader. And I'm here okay, to talk about what these charts can, can do. So, But before that, I just wanted to speak to you okay, a bit about uh, what we want to do today. Uh, today, it's not just about me, it's about you. And uh, the central focus is always going to be you over the next few minutes, we are going to be speaking to you today. So what's in it for, for you? Uh, we're going to be starting okay, with a small introduction. And then okay, we're going to be walking you okay, through what we have. And I promise you, okay, you stay with me okay, till, 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 till the very end over here. I'm going to give you a couple of setups which are going to help you make money immediately from the coming Monday. So stay with us, okay, till the very end, okay, we're going to be walking through a lot more about uh, setups. We are traders and we're going to be talking about uh, our trading setups and about how to monetize the information from the charts, right? So that's coming up. But before that, I'd like to hand the floor over to my colleague, Uttam, uh, who's going to introduce a few key concepts to us. So with that, Uttam, the floor is with you. Thank you. Thank you, Shai. Thank you. Am I audible? Good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the webinar. It's been a lovely Saturday morning. So let's make it even better by going through this uh, webinar we are having. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Shai, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, at WeTender, we have a process which we follow and we uh, we have these three important things which are there, which help us in this process. First is the market profile. We use the market profile extensively to understand the structure of the market. 
market pro why market profile market profile is we are using market profile because it gives us a three dimensional view it covers the price it covers the volume and it covers the time so which is why we are following the market profile uh, extensively for understanding the structure of the market the next is the order flow order flow helps us to understand the pulse of the market because market profile gives us the references it uh, tells us about the structure but what is happening at those important references we come to know through order flow order flow is a beautiful concept and i think shai is uh, just mentioned about it and we it i'm so happy that we have our own in house order flow charts now so it's it's going to be a great great uh, journey forward it has been so far and it is uh, promising to be a even more exciting one going forward Uh, with these order flow charts which we have at the we trender chart section so order flow is something which helps us to understand the pulse of the market as i said and the third thing which we have at we trender is the options suite suite so we we have a wonderful package of option charts in the uh, chart section which we use because uh, predominantly all all of the retail trade trading crowd is using options to trade very few percent of them are trading the futures and option market is a big 50000 crore market on a daily basis so it's it's simply huge and mind boggling to be part of and we have a good chance of learning and making profit in this market if we get the process right and if we are good uh, good and excited to learn and keep growing together so we trender has different uh, sections where people who are new to market profile can uh, improve their skill sets so we have an e course which is a basic uh, course about uh, to people who are completely new to market profile and order flow it helps you understand what the main concepts are so anyone who wants to get into or step into or test the waters of market profile on order flow the e course is the one you can start with then we have the uh we trainer mentoring room where we have a virtual trading room when all of us sit together and take trades the trading room has got uh, live order flow charts and market profile concepts which we are trading live we keep discussing there is a live discussion which is going on in the room we have a report which goes out every day and important references are given just before the market opens and then uh, we follow the market profile setup starting with the open type which is a very important uh, concept in market profile and then we take it forward as and when the day progresses we also have audio sessions at the end of the first hour which is the initial balance where we discuss what has happened and what are the possibilities for the remaining of the day and we are throughout in touch through the uh, discussion and look for trades we kind of look over each other look for each other and become each other's eyes and uh, keep talking discussing about what are the probabilities we can the trades uh, we can take for the day so that's the vtrender trading room where, where where the learning curve is the fastest and the best so for new traders we guide them we have uh, extensive uh, help which is available to them all the questions will be answered by the moderators who are there in the room offline also they have access to uh, people who can help them understand anything which they have not been understood apart from this the vtrender trading room also has an extensive training library which has a set of 15 videos so this is the next step the e course is the basic entry into the world of market profile and order flow and the uh, training library videos are having the extensive practical setups which we are using on a day to day basis in live markets to take trades using market profile and order flow so those set of 15 videos make you ready make you prepared and expedite your learning curve as shai mentioned it took him almost 4 5 years to get you uh, accustomed to these this process which he has developed and if you talk about me i have also taken a long time to get used to these concepts and learn and grow to 
at least at some level where I I can speak to you about this. So the learning curve is always on. You never stop learning. As long as we are living, the learning will continue. But now the process is so speeded up thanks to the package we are having and what we call the triumvirate or the Tridev. We have the Tridev with us at Vtrender, which is the market profile charts which are, and the order flow charts. And the third is the option suite. So using this deadly combination, the lethal combination of these three aspects, there is, you don't need anything else to achieve the trading excellence, which Shai was mentioning at the start. So th this is a small brief about us. We have the chart section where we have the market profile charts. We have the option charts of both uh, op uh, futures as well as uh, uh, stock options as well as uh, index options. In the options, we have a lot of advanced features like the spectrum. We have the gamma levels which are marked. It it is a it is a totally extensive uh, study which you don't find at normal uh, places. It is something which because when you are trading, you need to be doing something which most of them are not doing. You need to be following uh, things which give you an edge. So that is what we believe in. That is what we do. We look for that edge in the market every day, which will help us to be one step ahead and take that trade, which has got a more probable chance of being a winner. So that, that is, that is it for, from my side for now, I would extend this chat to Suyog, who is the man behind the VTrender charts. He is the brain. So that is that uh, I'll hand it over to him and he'll take you forward through the chart section where he'll help us uh, understand the different features of these charts. So th thank you. Thank you all. Thank you for listening in. I'll join you in a bit. Over to Suyog. Thank you. Thank you, Uttam, for that uh, very kind uh, introduction. Okay. Uh, hello, guys. Welcome. Uh, hope you're having a good Saturday morning. I'll just uh, share my screen. Okay, so I hope everyone is seeing the order flow charts. Uh, sorry, market profile charts. Uh, I would like to begin with market profile charts. These, uh, even though a lot of you already would have been seeing these uh, and probably also been using these, but this has been the heart of uh, what we do at Vtender. And I would like to start with it and, you know, I uh, would like to quickly go through uh, the features that we have, the triumvirate that uh, Uttam talked about and uh, something that even Shai also mentioned. We have a, a market profile to get the structure or understand the structure of the market. We have order flow to understand the pulse of the market, the now of the market, what is happening in the moment. And then we have the options suite to better understand the whole options market so like uh, it has some very unique prop tools that we developed that we uh, nurtured over many months and i'll just explain to you where uh, and what of it like how to use it and like how to uh, you know monetize based on this is something which shy excels in or even uttam can speak about it so uh, i'll try to be quick <laughs> so that uh, we can uh, go to that section Okay, so uh, just to uh, explain, so this is the market profile charts. You can like uh, zoom in, zoom out. If you want, you can make composites, uh, simply multi-select, merge, unmerge, basic stuff. Uh, if you are aware of what the market profile concepts are, uh, this would allow you to do a, a host of things and you can, uh, analyze these charts based on your style based on what you find uh, you know relevant and useful given the uh, market conditions we have multiple time frame options here uh, we have uh, uh, weekly charts you can see weekly uh, profile and we have uh, different views also to these charts so you can see volume profile side by side you can only see uh, uh, 
this view also and then there are uh, okay and then there are uh, different ways in which this information can be seen so you have tpo based va value area you can have volume based value area and something we introduced uh, recently which is hybrid uh, mode where uh, you know the value area is tpo based but the vwap is volume based uh, coming back to one more a few more important aspects you can have the right click context menu again different options guys i am running through this because i hope a lot of guys already know and just want to touch base still uh, for the new people and just drop in an email at charts at Wittrinder or you know go through this updated uh, user manual that we have or you can also check the demo videos uh, which we have per page and these would give you more information on these features and you know if something is missing you would definitely add it so just let us know uh, just to again uh, brief a bit the there is a right panel which we show where we have uh, day specific information in the live market this panel shows a lot more information about uh, the current uh, volume status and you know what all is going in the market um, and just another side note whatever features i'm demoing or i'm showing right now are for uh, the highest plan so if you are not able to see uh, any of these or uh, if you are not uh, getting access, uh, just check your uh, privileges. And uh, else, if there is a bug, just please drop an email uh, to charts at Wittrender. So uh, again, uh, if you wanted to see volume numbers at uh, volume profiles, this is again something which is there. Uh, you can enable disable. Uh, we'll quickly move on to Sorry, before moving on there, we also have multi-window view. You can see uh, different charts side by side. And we have, if you have a bigger screen, we can see four charts in a single screen. So all options are there. This is handy if you want to see, if you have fewer screens, but you want to see multiple views on the same page. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, and so pretty much, uh, done with market profile overview. Moving on to order flow, uh, which is the next uh, and the newest addition to our suite. So here again, uh, we have different time frames. We have one minute wise, three minute wise, five minutes, and thirty minutes. Uh, thirty minutes would be uh, like this. Just a. Uh, bit of uh, you know information on the zooming and panning of these charts it's a little different than what we have for market profile charts in order flow charts we have different x axis and y axis uh, zooming so just if you are inside the chart and if you are trying to zoom or you know you are trying to click and drag it will only change on x axis i mean you will only uh, be able to uh, navigate on x axis reason being you want you the numbers going side by side yes i think the chart on screen is still the market profile chart so can you just uh, look into that uh okay i guess i'll have to re-login or no no you're still showing a market profile chart you don't need to re-login just move the menu no no uh, it's it's hung up i think my zoom session is hung up because i on my screen i am viewing the order flow charts sure take your time can you try changing the tab? I think you need to change the tab. You, okay, you're sharing, try. Yeah, you're sharing the market profile tab. You need you need to share the order flow tab. Wait. Okay, let me know what you see now if you are seeing anything else. Still the same? Yes, we're still on uh, market Okay, profile. let me stop. Let me share again. Let me see if that changes. Resharing. Uh, yeah, now fix? you're on order flow. Okay, back on order flow? Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so as I was saying, uh, there are different time frames at the bottom. Uh, you can see three minutes, 30 minutes. It was talking about the zoom and pan. So this is a little different behavior than what we have in market profile charts. If you do zooming or 
or if you click and drag on these charts, it would only affect, uh, you know, horizontal movement. If you want to do vertical movement, you want, you would have to go on the Y axis and, you know, the place uh, where prices are listed, you can uh, zoom there and you can click and drag there. So this is the maximum zoomed view that we are able to see. This is three minutes on 30 minutes, you get more information. So Shai will uh, explain uh, further about how best to utilize different time frames and how to you know, explore the setups. But this is the technical aspect. Uh, on the top, we have a, a information table <coughs> which uh, uh, shows you the last days or even the active days uh, uh, activity. Uh, some key features again uh, shai would explain in a bit this icon this is again a draggable icon but this is useful if you are stuck in a zoom uh, state and quickly want to reset it you can click it and you are back to your uh, original view you can uh, move it anywhere and if you want to have more screen space you can uh, show hide these uh, top and bottom table even this bottom table, you can see we have volume, VPOC, VPOC volume, uh, we have the cot, we have OI, and we have delta OI. So again, uh, these are useful things. Uh, on uh, There is a difference between uh, 30 minutes and 3 minutes. On, three minute, uh, on 30 minutes chart, you will see a VWAP uh, per bar. Uh, it's because normally... Uh, you know, these are longer bars and it makes sense. So we have a wrap here, but uh, for other, we would have mainly the VPOCs and these yellow lines are the unvisited VPOC levels of each bar. Uh, these are important reference during intraday uh, activity. So again, something which uh, I would touch upon. Uh, pretty much it on the technical aspect. Again, yes, uh, here also we have the option to show hide the global volume. We can show hide the volume profile numbers. Uh, similar thing. And yeah, uh, uh, the price per row is again uh, a little bit. You can relate it to the TPO size we have on market profile charts. You can further uh, uh, use it to... I mean, it's not actually a zoom type thing. It's uh, actually how you want to see the information. If you change this number, the numbers on the screen would uh, uh, change. Again, something that I would touch upon, which is a better setting from a trader's point of view. Uh, let me quickly also show you the settings thing. Uh, and yeah, uh, just again, just to show you, this user manual would be different. So on an order flow page, you would see the order flow user manual, and then you can also see uh, order flow specific demo videos. So just keep uh, visiting them if you are a new new person, and just just keep us posted if there is any uh, query. So opening up the settings page, uh, these settings are mostly built for market profile. Uh, views and a few things just uh, please note these settings uh, i will again uh, quickly run through them so uh, things like what you want your default view to be can be controlled from this page uh, and once we go to the different table pages you will understand uh, i mean there are there is a way to hide a few columns if uh, you know the, your view is being cluttered okay so quickly moving on to options table our uh, very own uh, option suite uh, starts from this uh, table. So we have a lot more information here. And this is from, again, MPLite days. So I hope a lot of you are already accustomed. For those, uh, please go through these different uh, columns. Uh, we have max OI, min OI, et cetera. Uh, and just check these out. Uh, check out our user manual. And uh, let us know if there are questions. We have a famous Greek table here. You can, uh, you know, uh, do a typical uh, positions, uh, spread analysis. You can have, uh, you know, payout analysis also. It's a little uh, uh, tip, uh, 
what can I say? Uh, it allows you to do a lot of things. So again, a long explanation, but uh, just quickly wanted to let you guys know that we can have, uh, uh, you know, can check uh, different options prices on a given date time using this table. So this is uh, this can be used to do any uh, spread analysis or you know any payout analysis that you would want. So again, uh, can spend time there. We have this index table, and in this is again a little updated now. Uh, it's it has a different future specific view and a different spot specific view. So as we are features oriented, we would have this table real time updated almost uh, with some delay on uh, live market. So you can have you can see all stocks status here, which are part of different indexes. And again, a lot of information is here. We have the value area, we have uh, VPOC, we have maximum uh, uh, daily stats, et cetera. So again, uh, check this out. So the star of our uh, option suite, the spectrum. Again, uh, quickly, uh, you can... Uh, you have right now different menu options for Nifty, Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, Spectrum. Again, something that is well explained in our uh, demo and uh, user manual. Again, uh, Shai can also touch base upon it, how we can reuse these uh, in our setups. We have uh, OI chain charts, which is like total OI uh, across uh, all strikes for a given series. And then we have a custom feature, which is a near to money uh, white chain charts, which is a little, uh, uh, you know, it uh, it's a little different view where we prioritize uh, ATM options more than uh, our, you know, the whole uh, compared to the whole options chain. So this gives a little more perspective into uh, what the, you know, how the inventory is behaving in terms of uh, OTM and ITM. And this, uh, we recently added a, a spectrum lines also to this. So it gives a better perspective of how the inventory, options inventory is uh, moving uh, during the day. We have historical volatility charts. Again, uh, you know, those who want to just uh, check on some parameters from a, you know, longer time frame perspective. So there are a lot of uh, fields. Again, won't go through all of them. You can check on them. You can check the manual. You can uh, research. These are like well-known indicators and uh, terms. Next, uh, yeah, on the line of spectrum, we have our famous gamma charts. This is uh, gamma values. We have gex values. Again, something which is explained in uh, uh, demo and you know, something will I'll leave Shai to also talk about. Just explaining on the features, you can go back a few dates. You can check different expiries. Uh, you can check intraday between certain uh, time frames. So you can see what happened during mid of the day, uh, during a certain time, on what the status was. And this this like this feature is available across all our charts, all our options inventory charts. So. From the gamma charts, we also see now we have these OI specific charts. So these are pure open interest charts, different views possible of open interest. So this is like the total open interest. We have open interest split. Again, we can move back in time, see what was the status at a certain time period. We have IV curve charts also. Uh, so for a specific expiry, we can see how the IV smile is. Again, uh, this is this sometimes give you some hints on you know how the inventory is positioned. So at different times of day, uh, which uh, it's the put uh, side whose IVs are higher, or it's the call side IVs are higher. So you can check this out too. Then we have uh, the snake, different types of snake charts as well. We have straddle snakes, we have IV snakes. So these are the specific features. Again, uh, just not to forget, uh, we have a multi-window view where you know you can see all these charts and on a single screen also. So 
you can have market profile just that you'll need a little bit of uh, screen space and you can you know there are different options drop down options so you can actually jump to any type of charts and you can see these on a same same screen so it's quite useful if you have a bigger screen and you can watch them so i guess i have covered quickly covered most of the aspects of uh, technical aspects or you know what what is there where to see it or you know what all uh, uh, things we have so just uh, uh, keep your uh, you know comments or feedback coming if you have any uh, you know good suggestions or like uh, you know if you have queries around uh, you know some information not being clear like uh, technical aspects uh, we are continuously upgrading and adding features as our trader friends like uh, shy himself the trader so uh, whatever uh, inputs come we uh, you know we think and if it makes sense we keep adding uh, these so like this uh, speedometer is again a, a latest addition uh, again something i guess shy would talk about so yeah with this uh, would like to hand it back over to uh, shy and we like he can touch uh, on the more important aspect like uh, <laughs> which is i guess everyone is waiting for how to trade with this charts or you know how to better use this charts okay over to you shy thank you yeah okay so we are here today okay to talk a lot about order flow and uh, order flow okay, is a very complex deep subject and to be honest with you even if i give it okay about two full sessions two full days i will not be able to cover all of the depth of order flow but uh, since we are here and it's a Saturday morning and the pressure of a moving market is not there, we are just going to try to touch base on a few vital aspects of order flow. And I'll stick to my promise I made to you earlier. If you listen to me okay, carefully, there is a lot of insight on how you can make immediate money okay, with these charts as early as uh, Monday. Monday in the first half itself, okay, you should okay, have a lot okay, to do if you listen to what I have to say. Okay, a quick point over here. We are going to do a quick Q&A at the end. I'm sure, okay, after all this, uh, you'll have a lot of questions. So we will, okay, open the floor to uh, Q&A at the close. But at the same time, okay, the Q&A chat box is open and I'm having a look at it as we speak. So if there are things, okay, which are uh, not making a lot of sense to you, guys, okay, please, okay, chat in. This entire session is for you. And I don't want to walk away from here, okay, knowing that uh, you did not, okay, collect maximum, okay, from this session. So this is a session, okay, which we created for you. I want you to be clear. So if there are things which are not making sense, uh, you, we do not want to progress, okay, without having you on board, okay, without you, okay, understanding fully that uh, what uh, this is uh, what this is all 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 about so let's let's take it from there let's onboard everybody and we'll collect all those questions we'll answer all of those questions and together okay we'll progress okay from here onwards right so i'm gonna okay restrict uh, the conversation we're gonna be having over the next few minutes to the order flow uh, we have of course okay the market profile we have the entire option suite over here but uh, there, but when it comes to order flow, it's a little bit more of a complex subject, and uh, I want to okay touch base okay on why why okay and what okay you should be doing okay with an order flow order flow uh, chart as you go into the business of trading or as you are trading live markets. So the chart okay on your screen is uh, the typical order flow chart. Now, first and foremost, okay, the ground basics okay when it comes to order flow. Uh, order flow, what exactly is order flow? Now you need to know this very, very clearly. Order flow is traded volumes displayed on a screen. Okay, it's not the order book. It's not the orders which are still coming into the market, but order flow is traded quantities displayed as the ones okay, which came on the buy side of the market and the ones okay, which came on the sell side of the market. So a simple way okay, to understand it, all the greens okay, which you would see, the cursor over here, so all this green okay, you would see, you would know okay, that this is buyers. So a basic understanding of order flow is that within a candle, 
all that appears on your right hand side because it's green okay you can immediately make out that it is buyer dominated volume and all that appears on the left hand side of the candle this is the candle for this bar okay this is the candlestick of this bar and this entire information of this candle has been broken down into the volume which was traded by buyers and the volume which was traded by sellers and how do we know which one is which simple thing okay the green one is the volume dominated by buyers and the red one is dominated by sellers now you will have a question over here shy what is the importance of trading with traded volumes okay why not okay go into the order book and show the order book because that is okay what order flow also is and you are correct okay that is order flow but what really happens when it comes okay to the business of trading okay the traded quantities have a different effect on traders work okay differently after you are in a trade so let's take an example okay suppose okay you are a big trader you are familiar with the way markets work and uh, you've gotten yourself okay pretty used to how markets function now you're confident and you are trading size in the market and it could be anything big okay let's say okay you're trading about 500 lots at one time okay you have that splitting software and all we'll not get into all that but suppose okay you have okay about 500 lots of trades okay you put at one point in time okay now you know everything about the market you know how it goes and everything you made a plan and you executed okay that quantity in the market now suppose okay you bought those 500 lots and you expected the market to go up okay and when you were buying that you had a plan that this was going to be your stop loss and this was going to be your target okay but the market okay suddenly okay decides to drop down now you're 50 points down okay from your original entry position bad thing okay it's not a really a good thing and you don't want to be a trader okay in that kind of a situation okay but you had a plan that okay you would still keep a stop loss of about 100 points and you would look for a gain of 200 points but now you're 50 points down okay from your point of entry in three minutes now everything in your universe changes okay your plan goes for a toss and you really do not know what to do so the next best thing you do is you exit that entire position in a loss now, this is the actual philosophy at work in markets when the markets are moving and positions go what we call upside down they go against okay your normal mode of play traders approach to those problems to that situation changes okay which is why when you're going into a trade or when you're planning a trade or something is there in the order book that market is that order is not executed it's a different ball game but once okay that order is executed the pressures of the market okay make it such that okay everything changes then okay your plan okay does not come to you you know like as mike tyson okay used to say okay once okay you enter into a ring one punch okay on your face and all the plans okay you made before you entered the ring in are gone so this is what practically happens in the market traders go upside down many times they go against their plan when everything is going to a plan everything is fine you can manage your position but a lot of traders okay have to understand that the market does not go up because of more demand coming in or the market does not go down because of more supply coming in generally it's a lot to do with short covering and it's a lot to do with long liquidation. Now, what is short covering? Short covering is a market which was short, but the market price okay, decided to move up and traders okay, were caught again upside down and they had to close that position. So the market okay, rises because of short covering. And if you walk away from that chain of thought, which tells you that more demand drives the market up, no, it's not right. It's not 100% right. To an extent, it is right but it's always more demand and short covering so what we are doing over here is we are trying to see positions of players okay who have got the market on their side as well as we are trying to identify traders who are upside down okay and that is why we look at order flow as a whole okay to see where the buyers are positioned and where the sellers are positioned so I want you to just walk away okay, from what you already know about demand and supply. It's true. Demand and supply is the central pole of the market. It's the axis okay, which runs everything in the market. If I have to strip the market down and explain it in two simple words to you, it are these two words, demand and supply. That is the central axis 
from where everything in the market flows. Yeah. Yes, there are a lot of structures in between futures, options, stocks, and a lot of other things okay, which go on. But the central pole is always the demand and the supply. Right. And when you can track that closely as demand increasing or decreasing and supply increasing or decreasing, you get a bigger hold of what the market is. So that is what order flow is. Order flow is helping us to track all this demand and supply live in markets in real time market hours. Right now, we do not want to complicate this at all. All we are wanting to see is if there is a little bit more green in the bar or if there is a little bit more red in the bar. Now I'll use these words interchangeably. Red for us is supply, green for us is demand. So it means the same thing. When I say greens, I mean demand. When I say reds, I mean supply, right? Now in an order flow chart, if you know already that the demand is on your right hand side, and your supply is on your left hand side, we have to just add a little bit more information to this bar. So this is a typical bar. I'm working with a 30 minute bar, just as an example over here. And I'll walk you through how you need to read this in a three minute bar also. So let's focus on this particular bar. It's got a longish kind of a thing, 19285 to about 19370. That's a hundred point uh, move over here. Nothing to do with these 100 points, but let's, let's try to understand what happened. Now, just hear me out. It's a little bit technical over here, but I'm going to try to read to you what exactly happened in this bar. Just hear me out, and I'll try to make sense of all these numbers which are coming in this bar. So here's where this previous bar was. This is also a 30-minute bar with a range of 19,297 to 19,276. And this is the open, high, low, and close. So if you put your mouse over here, you can see the open was at 19,281. Uh, the high was 19,297. The low was 19,276. And the close was 19,285. Okay. And uh, the reason, okay, this bar is green is because the open and the close, the close was higher than the open. That's why this bar is green in color, right? In this particular bar, the close is lower than the open. So we can say the open is here and the low is here. And you, you can make out okay, that the color given to it was red. Now, we don't want to work okay, with these traditional definitions of, of uh, colors, but that's a point okay, we will cover later. But I want you to understand over here that within this bar, the open is higher and the close of the bar is right here. So at the close, you can see this 460 and 373. These are the buyers which had come right at the close of this bar. Okay. Now, this bar is done. What happens next? The market opens over here, right? Because it's closed over here. This is the opening price. So you can see the zero and the three. This is the open of the next bar. And this bar is this bar at 145. Now, hear me out. I'll just walk you through what happened. Okay. Nothing comes in here. There are, this is all numbers in lots, by the way. So there is a three lot buyer, 27 lot buyer, 23 lot buyer. Okay, there is a six lot seller on the other side. There is a 13 lot buyer, 16 lot buyer. Now the buyer decides to get aggressive. He's added 156 lots on the buy side. Okay, the seller sees that comes immediately to counter him. So that's why, okay, you see this 149 lots being added. The buyer adds 12, 22, he adds 16, the seller okay, tries to add some more, 151 on the other side. Now, small pause over here. All the numbers okay, which you see on your order flow chart, they are all relative to the market. Okay, So there's nothing called a very big number in the order flow, and there's nothing called a very small number in the order flow. Everything is relevant, relative to the volume at that point of time. So suppose I'm in a low volume market at about 11.15 or 11.20 and I put in about 300 lots uh, to buy the market. I can easily move the market at about 30 or 40 points okay, with my 300 lots going in one shot. Because at 11.15, 11.20, the market is not that liquid. It's a thin market. right? So that 300 lots suddenly becomes big for a thin market. But Suppose, okay, I enter a thousand lot position at the open at about 19, 917, 918. Now at the open, 
917, 918, there is a lot of traders who, can, who trade the market. Everybody is waiting for the market to open and they come and they want to trade the market right at the open. So there is a lot of volume okay, which comes in in that 5, 10, 15 minute window right at the open. So then even a thousand lot buyer or a thousand lot seller will not have much more much of an impact to make on the market because the surrounding liquidity is on the larger side. So very important thing to know as you are looking at order flow, the numbers by themselves do not mean a lot. Everything is relative to what is happening, right? So let's continue. Okay, the buyer okay was trying to ascend the market. The sellers coming here, 135.46. Now, okay, the buyer takes note of all the supply which is coming in and he, he starts initiating. So you see this 151, 173, the seller is not giving him an answer yet. Okay, this is all happening. Okay, quick. I'm just reading out to you how to understand the flow. Now the buyer sees there is a chance to go and pick this market up higher, 232, 332, 342. The seller sees that the buyer is adding. So he comes in okay, to arrest the rise higher in prices. So you can see over here, 252, 25, 520. Okay, he's coming to add size back to the market. At this point, the buyer okay, decides to get a little bit more aggressive. He waits okay, for a few seconds and then initiates a lot more. So 100, 112, 118, 70, 56, 168. He's initiating positions and he takes out all the supply in the market. And then okay, he goes, price moves up because okay, the demand from the lower end has overcome supply. And when demand is greater than supply, price has to move up. Right. So some of these sellers who came in are now okay liquidating here. Okay. And that's how okay price is floating. Now it comes over here, right at about 19370. Okay. 961, 856, 870. 961, 856, and 870. Okay. Now look at these numbers: 961, 856, and look at it down below. Do you see the size anywhere else lower at 19300, 19310, 19320? Suddenly, the buyer has to add a lot more size to move the market up. You do not see these numbers traded anywhere else lower because it was easy for him to move the market up. But there is a lot more effort put by the buyer to move the price up here at 19,364, not so much here at 19,290. Now, when the buyer has to put the so much effort up, the seller who is monitoring all this order flow real time sees that there is an opportunity. So he enters into a very big sell order over here, and this becomes an RS, a responsive selling pattern. You see this 870 over here. He tried over here. He tried over here. He saw okay, that the buyer was adding a lot more over here. So that's why okay, he came in here with a larger size and he kept adding. And then the market okay, moves in through uh, IS pattern and drops off. And this is just an example. But this example tells you how price moves in the market. It's a function of volume coming on the demand side. And it's also a function of volume coming on the supply side. Now, this is an example of a 30 minute bar, but the same thing happens on a three minute bar. Buyers and sellers coming together. Now we don't want you okay, to spend a lot of time reading on this, which is why, and it's difficult actually okay, to read a lot of numbers on screen. But I'll just give you some ground rules okay, to watch in these charts. So you get three different colors over here. One is the reds, which I told you okay, is a seller's initiating or sell side volume. The one is the green, which is the buyers. And the third thing are the whites, the white colors. Now, whites are neutral colors. And this is what we call an imbalance in a market in an order flow chart. So every time you see in the bar, a collection of reds where there is no green, you can say safely that the sell side volume is bigger than buy side volume and price now can move down. Okay, remember, okay, there is two things over here, price and volume and both of them are partners and they work together. But at certain times, volume okay, tells price what to do and at certain time, price holds volume back. 
they are both partners they have to work simultaneously but when supply gets added okay price okay has to go down as well so just focus okay on these numbers and the more okay of these numbers show up without any greens if you see a lot of reds together without any greens then price okay is, then then it's telling you the chart is telling you that now the seller is more aggressive than the buyer and price can flow down so in this example over here you can make out there is this absolutely you okay, can no green in this bar okay which means the seller was successful in driving prices lower a simple read of this chart will tell you that this seller was very confident okay in this time frame to drive prices lower because the demand okay came in much lower here at 9327 till then there is just this 34 lot okay which is holding okay price okay from going down and it's not enough because on the other side is some very aggressive selling okay which is happening right so a simple read of this chart will tell you how to work this market right now i have to make a point over here we have one minute order flow we have Three minute order flow we have five minute order flow which is this and we have 30 minute order flow the volume numbers in each of these order flow charts are going to be exactly the same because volume okay cannot be broken up unless okay that time candle changes okay from 9 59 to about say 10 a.m and you start a 10 a.m bar that's the time okay the volume will split but the volume number will always be the same whichever time frame you choose now your choice of time frame is dependent okay on your comfort level okay but a simple rule to follow over here if you're choosing a smaller time frame and you get let's say a sell side signal like this particular one you get a sell side signal in a three minute time frame this does not mean okay that this signal is going to be valid till 3 30 pm right there are going to be buyers and sellers the market okay keeps moving and it does a lot of things okay at similar times okay at different times in the market the market keeps moving information keeps changing so just because you have a sell signal at say about this 3 p.m does not mean it's going to be valid or this particular is which came in it's going to be valid okay till 9 15 the next morning okay so just be careful about the kind of signals okay you are using and the time frame you are using use a time frame which is comfortable for you and works for you okay the broader market looks at a five minute time frame the broader market looks at a five minute time frame to trade okay what we look at generally what i look at is uh and a lot of traders okay who work alongside with me we look at a three minute three minute time frame okay now how do i know okay which signal okay to be used like for for how long so there's a simple rule for that it's called the rule of 10. it's called the rule of 10. so it simply means that if i'm holding something or if i get a signal in a three minute time frame I'm going to be holding it for 3 into 10, that is 30 minutes. If I do not get my trade moving in those 30 minutes, okay, I'm changing or I'm looking at new information from the market. So if I get a sell signal here at 19361 and I'm looking at a 3 minute bar and it's uh, 3 p.m., this signal is valid, okay, till about 325 or 330. And at 325, whatever profits I get on this sell signal, I book. So it's not like, okay, I'm holding at 19,360 and I'm waiting for the market to become 19,000. The rule of 10 says that, okay, that signal is valid only till 13, uh, only till 30 minutes. So that's three to about 325. Maximum, you can stretch it to 330, but don't try, okay, to push the limits over here. Always, okay, take profits when the market gives you. Okay, now I say this also a lot, all the time. Your next trade is one brokerage away. Your next trade is one brokerage away. With an order flow chart, there are hundreds of opportunities available for you to trade virtually at any point of the day. So you don't have to be frozen okay, to your screen at 9.15 in the morning. Okay, You come at about 2.15, 2.30, even at 12 o'clock, 12.30, whatever time you come and you can get a good read of the chart via the order flow chart. Look at the last 30 minutes understand who is controlling the market the buyer or the seller and you can take a trade in the market at any point in time right but know when to enter when to exit
Okay, right. Now, there is a lot of reasoning behind using order flow. Why do we have to use an order flow chart? And this uh, why is a uh, different, okay, for a lot of, okay, different people. It works, okay, differently. Of course, okay, the markets are different and everybody, okay, has a different way of looking at it. But when I started off, me personally, uh, I used to struggle a lot in uh, getting entries and exits right. So I used to enter, uh, I used to trade a lot of options uh, even then. Uh, and I used to enter, okay, long calls. And when I entered the market, okay, used to just stay there, okay, for a small period of time and used to go down. And I made a lot of losses that way because of my wrong entries. And sometimes, okay, when I got those entries right, I could not exit on time. I'm not sure okay, whether it resonates okay, with any of you over here, but that was my story okay, for a few good years uh, in the market. And I really could not okay, get it right because uh, I could not okay, really time my trades. I could not really enter them on time. And when I did okay, get a trade right, my exits okay, were never perfect. I, I exited okay, and, uh, I exited at a time okay, when um, there was a little bit, more, a little bit of profit to make only to find okay that the market okay would give me more profit if i had if i had held on to that 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 trade for that amount of time so one thing okay which i always struggled was about my entries and it was always okay about uh, getting my exit side getting my trades okay properly exited i always okay struggled with that with the advent of order flow okay and i've been using order flow for about 13 years now a lot has changed for me and uh, I do not want to say it, okay, in front of you, but uh, I we have a, a trading room where a lot of traders, okay, I work with and we do a lot of live trading over there together and they can, okay, vouch for this, okay, that most of the trades, okay, we put out in the room have got a classical entry signal based on what this information is, is telling us. And the exits also, we just make it on time because, okay, the order flow is telling us that this is the right thing to do. Now, this is not going to be easily available and quickly available to a lot of you you'll have to spend time to work at it but if you do spend the time to work at it this is the benefit okay you will immediately understand when to buy your puts when to buy your calls you do not buy into a sea of sellers you do not buy calls into a sea of sellers and you do not buy buy uh, calls into uh, you do not buy puts into a sea of traders who are going long for instance the same example you can see over here that there is absolutely no demand here in this market at this point of time so will i be buying a call over here absolutely no there is no chance okay i will take a long trade in either 19300 or 19200 call i'll be either shorting calls over here or getting into long puts because the auto flow is telling me that there is no demand over here not in this candle not in this candle not in this candle not in this candle not even in this candle okay and here there is some demand okay coming in coming in but you know you are reading okay the order flow a lot okay and you're looking at this particular cot number over here of 54 against all this cot of minus 158 40 cent and you're you're knowing now that this 207 254 is some of these shorts booking right Okay, that's another aspect of which we want to cover maybe okay, at a different topic or uh, different uh, time later, how to read the information of caught. Caught is just the net buying and selling okay, of whatever is happening in that bar, right? And you want to see, okay, a lot of this selling, okay, come together. You want to be able to read this caught properly also. So even though, okay, you see some demand over here, okay, some of that, okay, has to be some of the supply, okay, booking, right? Somebody sold here at 19360 and he's getting a price of about 19320 40 points okay for about uh, all these lots okay which is traded he's taking some profits out so we have to understand that also as a flow of the market and adjust accordingly right he took some profits somebody else okay, came in and sold over here that's why okay we got an is standard and it's got a very nice cot number to it and the market okay keeps dropping down based on that based on that number Right. So just a simple way to understand caught looking at all these imbalances. Also, the first thing okay, you would know is starting Monday morning, not to buy a long call when there is so much supply coming in. Okay. And if you are good enough and you can watch this okay over a period of time, there is plenty of time in the market, guys. You do not have to rush into the market on Monday and start trading right away. But when you're seeing okay this on a three-minute candle. And you're seeing okay all these things coming over here the first thing you will not do 
is buy a call and they say money saved is money made right so if your capital okay is intact you live okay to trade another day but if you're keeping losing calls or losing money okay putting in trades which are not going to bring you bring you money you're losing capital okay you're not going to be alive to trade another day all right am i making sense so so the first thing okay which we learn in the market is to cut out the stupidity which is why i always say okay if i had met okay that shy of 2006 2007 2008 i would have first okay given him a nice swag because okay he was doing very stupid trades at that point of time you cut the stupidity from your trades okay you open yourself to profit making ways all right let me repeat that you cut the stupidity from your trades you make yourself open to profit making ways and the second thing okay you will do is you will see okay that there is an is initiative seller coming in now okay i can buy long puts into the market you're definitely okay not buying calls when you see an is candle show up in the tape right so this is basically okay what order flow reading is all about it's a lot of numbers and i invite you okay to check out okay some of these demo videos okay which are there we have covered all of it okay in these details over here there is a extensive user manual right here at the bottom and uh, these particular six videos as a homework okay these are not more than four or five minutes each i think the biggest one is about six seven seven minutes and all of them are about four minutes each four minutes each i want all of you okay to go back as a homework and listen to these as many times as you possibly can because this is laying the groundwork for you to make progress okay in the future once you understand order flow you come close okay to the pulse of the market half of your problems okay are going to be solved and then when you get good at it you can put in some initiative trades also you can get good at trades also now before i take questions okay on what we spoke about i just wanted to cover a few more aspects of the order flow so excuse me so there are a few things okay which are there okay in this uh, thing so one as i told you okay about imbalances okay the second thing okay which you got to notice over here is this yellow bar okay that's what we call the poc the point of control it simply means the largest volume concentration of the bar okay it simply means the largest volume concentration of the bar and what do i mean by that it's that zone in those 30 minutes i'm looking at the 30 minute chart right now it's that zone in the 30 minutes where the market traded the maximum volumes it traded the maximum volumes now why do i need to know that i need to know that is because okay this is the area where the market is got the maximum amount of people who are interested in and now okay i have to find out whether they are buyers or sellers so in this particular candle it's 992 949 and you can see okay that they are equal okay but like i told you when we began speaking on order flow it's not just about a trader who is right it's also about a trader who is upside down so all of these 992 949 i'm looking at this next particular bar and i'm seeing if there is more demand coming in or supply coming in and at the top okay it is still neutral over here right this 1142 got countered by this 1199 this 88 is got countered okay by this 49 it's still neutral but i'm looking at next whether some of this money is going to getting caught upside down because okay they are not come down lower they have come at the top of the bar and every time okay that there is a business which is coming at the top of the bar i'm very curious to see okay if some of that money is late money coming late to the game they should have come here at 19264 but why are they coming at 19370 so i'm knowing that this 1003 and 949 is not really smart money okay they are late to the game they are the late latifs of the market okay and when i say late latif okay the market okay does not have a lot of patience with late latifs the market is very severe with anybody who is late to the game very very severe okay the early birds are the one who win and the early ones okay who are to a move are the ones okay who keep making profits 
So remember this, it's not just about the person driving the demand, it's also about the demand which is upside down. Not everybody in the market is right. In fact, okay, we know that, okay, as a rule, when we when we hear it, okay, from SEBI, when we click into our terminals, 90% of the traders make money. You want to find out, okay, who are those 90% and you want to catch those people who are upside down and take a trade on the opposite side of it, right? So I know, okay, this is getting a little bit complex. That's why I told you, okay, it's a two-day thing. This about traders, okay, going upside down and, okay, taking, okay, a trade on the opposite side. We can talk about that, okay, a while later. But for now, okay, what I want you to focus on on these charts is if you're looking at a three-minute bar, pay attention to the POC of the bar where the largest volume of trade is happening and try to find out if that trade is happening on the buy side or the sell side, okay? Another thing you will see, can you see this zero and this zero and this zero and this zero and this zero? That's a second confirmation, okay, which is telling you that on the demand side, there is no price movement, right? So right at the top, there is no demand. All zeros, okay, right at the top. Yeah, here there is, okay, nothing. But this tells you that the seller is got a very easy chance to move the market. Now, I look at an order flow chart and my eyes, okay, now have been trained, okay, to see this. For some of you, it will take time. But I want you, okay, guys, okay, to give it that time because this is the clearest information you can ever find from a chart anywhere. Demand and supply. See this? Seller is there, 60 and 140. The demand is zero. You cannot get a bigger mismatch than that, okay? When you see zeros at the top, don't buy calls again. Whatever be the other information in the bar, when you see a zero at the top of a bar, don't buy calls, right? And if the same thing, okay, zero okay, at the bottom, okay, and you see them as a sequence, don't buy puts. That's telling you that there is no supply coming into the market, right? So one is, okay, those imbalances. Second is watch the position of zeros in a bar. Okay, you see a sequence of zeros and see that as a sequence is not relative to one bar. See that as a sequence, okay, it will keep telling you that the demand is not there in the, in the bar. And the third thing, before I close and take your questions, look for these signals, IS, RB and all. Now there is a very elaborate explanation for this. And like I said, uh, this is an entire trading system by itself. Okay, now we do not really have a lot of time okay, to go into this, but a clear IS signal, whenever it appears, okay, and you have to look down, okay, and see the cot as well, okay. A good IS signal matching okay with a good cot level will tell you okay that the sellers are now in control. Again, it will stop you okay from taking long calls in the market, right? And that okay helps save your money. So be it. Okay, but this is an aggressive confirmation that now okay you can buy long puts in the market. So look for an IS to buy puts, and look down quickly at this cot value to see if there is a negative number over here. I don't want to trade with an IS signal and a positive cot value. I don't want to trade it that way. That tells me, okay, that within that IS also, there was, okay, some, some booking. But this gives me a clear cut signal to buy a long put, an IS and a cot negative number. Let's look at, okay, some other bars, just to point this out to you. So, this particular bar, okay, was an IB, but see the Scott number is just very minor, 47. If it was about 246 or something, then it would have been something big, okay, as a number. If I pan left, this is an IB, which has got a very good Scott number over here of 99, okay, and the market, okay, goes up because, okay, there is actually, okay, no more supply coming in. So this was decent. Uh, maybe, okay, the market, okay, was thin. Yeah, it was about 140 in the afternoon. That's why this cot number is not huge. But around 10 a.m. or about, around 9.20 a.m. or something, this is a, a number which will be a lot more bigger on an IB candle, right? So I hope, okay, I'm making some sense to you about how this is. Uh, a lot of this is uh, covered, okay, in this uh, demos also on... Uh, how to how to use these IB and ISSs. So if you go back okay into the user manual, 
and uh, how to videos the order flow intro videos so we covered okay the market dynamics with rb ib rs and is a quick word over here is watch the cot also okay and if you watch the cot you would get a lot more okay information about what to do exactly in the bar Right. So the demos, okay, at the top, okay, are are available, okay, for everybody. If you do not have access to these because, okay, you're not part of the order flow plan, then you can go to youtubecom slash vtrender and all these videos are up over there. So it's not like okay, you do not have this information. You would uh, get that, okay, off uh, YouTube. Also, you go down to youtubecom slash uh, vtrender. Uttam, if you can just uh, put that link up youtube.com slash vtrender you could get to see all of these videos in various play playlists over there okay if you want to get deeper into an understanding of uh, what market profile is we have a uh, curated about 12 videos for you and these okay you can find okay in the market profile eco section uh, there is an explanation about how to use the IBs, RSSs, etc. in this ECOs as well. Okay, so that's a wrap from me, guys. Uh, I want to genuinely okay talk a lot about uh, order flow with you, but we can do it okay step by step. Uh, we will have another session okay this coming Thursday at about eight thirty in the evening. And uh, we can talk okay about exactly okay what happened between Monday and Thursday. So ju just just look at your order flow charts, and uh, what I would also encourage it is take a screenshot of the chart okay which you are looking at, and uh, we'll come back again on Thursday at about eight thirty p.m. and we'll look at all these uh, order flow live examples, and you can bring them up. We'll have an open mic session, and uh, we can talk about how okay we could have traded. Or what we should have we could have done okay with those uh, order flow charts so just jot that down we'll send an email also to everybody thursday 8 30 pm we do an open mic session on order flow and we'll talk practically about all the order flow incidents from monday that is a uh, day after and uh, right up to about thursday so monday tuesday when is it thursday we can pick up okay four days of data of a live market and we can reflect on them on thursday Right. Now, for those okay who have not okay used to the order flow, uh, this is a chart where we are having okay a uh, Independence Day offer, and Independence Day was a uh, Tuesday, but we are still running this till about twentieth of August. So, I urge you okay to go through this. There is a lot more information. This practically okay changed the way I looked at markets, and I see no reason okay why it cannot uh, do the same for you. So, go through it. Uh, the order flow add-on is here index fno if you want to do okay something on stocks as well it's uh, over here over here it will take a little bit of a time okay to grow on you so so half year okay gets you one month off the annual okay gets you about uh, two months off go through okay whatever okay suits you but allow this time okay allow this time because uh, i know okay from ex my experience and the experience of a lot of other traders this is not something okay which you can pick up in about three or four or five days you'll have to really go through a lot more of those videos you'll have to finish a lot more of those orientations but once okay you get through it and you do it this is the cleanest way of uh, knowing what what demand and supply is doing at uh, any point in time right so with that okay i'll wind up and uh, i'll open the floor to questions if you